Alrighty, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Barry Tone, and today's video I'm going, to, I'm going to be showcasing to you guys the top three PS4 emulators you guys need to be on the lookout for. But before we get started this video, please make sure you guys leave a like, share, and also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel because it greatly helps out the channel a lot. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Let's get it. Now, first things first, the previous video I made, I believe last year, it was about, um, I gave about like five PS4 emulators you guys need to know about. Two of those, I'm going to be quite honest with you guys. I think you guys don't need to worry about them anymore due to the fact that I want to say at this current moment, they're dead projects. I haven't heard much from them uh, in, in quite a while. And that's RPC S4 and PS4 Delta. As this current moment, I don't think that these PS4 emulators are pretty serious because I haven't heard anything at all. And I know how difficult it is to code, be a programmer, be an engineer, uh, be a, a developer. But when you hear no updates at all, it's pretty, it's pretty hard. And there's no way you can keep a track of the emulator instead. On the only thing you guys have is like a GitHub. It's kind of hard to keep track of the progress of what you guys are doing. At least give give us an update, any progress or anything, something. But at this current moment, I don't think PS4 Delta and RPCS4 are currently active projects I'm recording. But next year, they could be very active, but who knows? As I'm recording this video, they're not. So first, first and foremost, the first emulator we're going to talk about, it's going to be Spine. Now, the last time I remember that um, Spine is really, I would say... A really complicated emulator due to the fact that it runs on a different OS system and also is a is private is it's private is a private emulator that means it's closed source and it's only one person that's making um the emulator it's, it's a one-man team and so far quote unquote spine had like 50 PlayStation 4 games booting not like um fully playable booting like you can, you can like go to either go to the tire screen go end game but it probably crash or it's really laggy or it's like to the point that's so unplayable that you can't play it. but the last time i heard anything from the spine dev they did quote unquote said that they are going to up the, um make a new build soon as the ps5 comes out ps5 came out and i haven't heard much about that new build maybe uh i guess a one-man team is kind of nice i guess working as a one-man team is kind of difficult more than you think but I, I haven't heard much from spine and and also like if spine have like say for example have 1000 games on um, playable like who gets experience that because 90 percent of users don't even use linux people use windows that's the common os system so it's kind of weird to me that somebody would um use a ps4 emulator on a different os system so that's that's kind of weird in my opinion but yeah so spine as this current moment, i haven't heard much but i think a new build is right around the corner but even if a new build is right around the corner people won't be giving much attention due to the fact that it's in a different os system and people kind of you know, not graduatory using um linux so that's that's the huge downfall in my opinion of the spine emulator all right Next emulator is GPC S4. You should be keep on lookout. Now I did make a a video on how to set up GPC S4. It's really that video is I say in my opinion is not beginner friendly. Like you gotta know how to use those operating systems before to even understand how this even works. I tried my best in that video to make you guys understand how it works. It's I know even after watching the video following the step by step there could be a lot of things missing like at the end of the day it could be your computer at <laughs> can't be capable of playing it or you, or your graphics card or something like that but you wouldn't even know because the emulator wouldn't even tell you because it's so how it's set up is not user friendly like something that would you say like the nintendo switch emulators or rpcs3 it's not user friendly like that it's like you have to get it from the ground up create the code and then drag and drop the game dump the game get a certain game that's dumped is it's really it's really complex so that's why most people didn't understand the video i may make an update video to that depends how it goes but you know 
only time will tell so as you know for um gpcs4 the only game quote unquote that they ever had um ever did make playable is we are doom and like from my understanding the the developer said this oh this is just a a test quote unquote you already know in actuality if you got something running like this you know it's not a test eventually you're gonna take it seriously um eventually so like i said um the only thing i really have to say about this emulator is that i may make an update video towards how to set it up i'm gonna try my best to um simply it down as much as i can i'm gonna try my best but if if it still happens to be that some people can't understand it you know i understand the <laughs> how, how this process basically goes it's pretty difficult to try to set up this emulator on uh any pc at all at this current stage it's not very user friendly so yeah that's all about that's all i have to say for gpcs4 it's a emulator has a lot of potential but you know only time to tell and also with um ps4 emulators i feel like it's gonna take a while before we see any development like a, i'd say a couple years no less than four years until we see something significant due to the fact that in my mind in the community i believe that we've been so quote unquote spoiled what i mean by that is like over the past few years we've seen like a lot of especially from the nintendo side you've seen a lot of current gen um emulators and that's starting all the way from i remember from simu that was that was an emulator during when the wii was still in its life cycle and it's like and for that to happen that's that was a huge milestone the simu team did and also currently the switch emulator it was getting games booting up two years after the switch um came out and look at it now it can run basically any first party game as soon as nintendo releases think about it a current gem emulator with a console people are still using to this day as soon as a game comes out like a first party game comes out like zelda metroid pokemon as soon as it comes out you can automatically play it even much possibly much more better than the current version that's out for the switch on pc think about that that's why i feel like in my mind in my opinion that we've been so spoiled with um current emulators now especially rpcs3 it makes it made a, a lot of significant progress you can play the last of us on it now playing metal gear solid 4 games that are very hard to emulate they're at a playable stage think about that games that took years on rpcs3 they was giving max problems and now it became playable that's why i feel like we need to be like a little bit more patient with certain like with the ps4 emulation because at the end of the day playstation is the most hardest thing to emulate nothing comes even close to it when it comes to um game consoles the hardest thing to emulate is playstation it's, it dates way back from the ps3 emulator it, that's that's a true fact all right on um, first and last i would say the most interesting emulator will be the team that's behind orbital now orbital is a real interesting um ps4 emulator it has its own site but there's nothing here so you can just either follow the discord the dumper or the github that's all it has but they already created a dedicated uh, website so whenever i the the dev team released the the application for orbital if we can set it up it will be like you can go to this site i believe and then if it's user friendly i make a video on it if it's difficult i try my best to make a video on it to make it very understandable but the last one uh, i think i did 50 50 on that <laughs> so yeah the orbital team uh i don't know how many people are behind it but i know the lead developer he has like a patreon a discord i think i left it in the description down below and you can also find it in the orbital site which i also leave in the description down below he has a patreon it's basically helping him um so keep him motivated to do the project because this thing is costly atten um intensive <laughs> i mean it's not costly intensive it's time very time consuming like trying to emulate something coding developing something is it's pretty tough i'm i for one to say that even though i have no experience in the field i know it's very hard from the people i talked to in the past like it's, it's very 
it's very demanding time demanding and as you see he has a twitter also i'll leave it in the description down below uh i'm going to keep it you guys 100 i do not understand one thing that he's he's even saying regards he is he is making updates towards the ps4 emulator but when he's making like giving you guys updates he's talking about something like codes like like let's be real the average joe would not understand 90 percent of things he's saying about the ps4 emulator the only thing that you would understand is when he's making something like this put out a video saying he can put it up to safe mode which is a huge progress or he's doing something like this and then you see the orbital application in the top um left corner right here and then He's, he can basically boot it up in the application, which that's, those are the things I understand. Anything that has to do with code, like something like this, I really don't understand it. But some people that is really, that's like an engineer, a coder, a developer would understand half of these things. But to the average Joe that didn't go to school for engineering, that doesn't study engineering at all, or coding or anything like that, you wouldn't understand, you wouldn't understand 90% of things, probably 100% of things he's saying. So. That's basically about it. Those, these are basically the three PS4 emulators that you guys should keep an eye on. I was gonna try to make a a PS4 emulation video almost every year. I think I try to make two, three. I mean, beginning of year, mid year, end of the year, because this showcased the progress of all these emulators currently. The last two, like I said, um, PS4 Delta and RPCS4. They're kind of like not active projects right now, so I wouldn't say keep too much uh, on an eye on them. And it's kind of hard to find updates at all for these people, except for Orbital, um, Spine. They make, you know, it's kind of, they kind of like the dev is kind of hard to reach sometimes. I would say the dev is kind of hard headed, but that's not something to um, to make fun of with them. But that's, that's how I feel like the dev is approaching with that. So that's basically about it. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to like, share, and also subscribe if you guys are new. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.